I'm a minority. My kids are mixed. I resent the disempowering narrative of victimhood being handed to them. It's lazy and offensive. How to arm them against it? That's a good one. Well, the first question is, you didn't tell me how old they were, so that complicates things. But I would say you better pay attention to what they're being taught in school. My suggestion to parents is that if your kids are in a class where they talk about diversity, equity, inclusivity, gender, white privilege, that's not a bad, there's other words too, but we'll stick with those, that your kids should be encouraged to leave the class because they're not being educated, they're being indoctrinated. Now that doesn't mean that there can't be an intelligent discussion about any one of those topics. But when they come together in a group, then that's a pretty good marker that you're in the vicinity of a radical leftist, neo-Marxist ideology. And there's no excuse for that being foisted on your children. You may have to have a serious chat with your school, with your kids' teachers, with the principal. You may have to learn how to formula argument, formulate your arguments against the practice. Like... If you resent it, what are you going to do? Are you going to put up with it? Are you going to get angry and take it out on someone else? Are you going to do something stupid because you're resentful? It's like those are, that's likely, right? Or are you going to swallow it and, and get weak? I mean, Jesus, those are dismal options. I mean, first of all, you might want to find out if all your resentment is justified. You can talk to someone that you admire and see if you're just flying off the handle because maybe you are. But if you're not, well, if something ha is happening that you really don't like, that's a sign that you have to do something about it because your being is rebelling against that constraint. So you have to get more educated, you have to get more articulate, you have to get more politically oriented, politically savvy, politically involved. You have to talk to people and make a coalition. Um, you have to face down your your children's teacher. You have to come up with a plan for what happens if when you face them down, nothing changes. You have to lay out a strategy of, of ideational war. Or you have to live with your resentment and risk having your children disempowered by the narrative of victimhood. That seems like a really bad outcome. You know, if they see you resisting it actively, then you are right then and there acting out the, the contrary narrative. So, if you don't believe that they should be described as disempowered, then you should act in a manner that indicates that your convictions have far more potency than you might believe. <laughs>